Berge. Jar, spare a kindness for a priest of two moons. Hadras is at the end of his rope, dangling by the scruff. This one returns from warning the speaker of the main of a dire prophecy, only to find his fellow priests speaking little sense and doing even less, raving and rambling about our moon bishop's visions and growing more demented by the moment. She tells the priests to burn our moon sugar, so they do. She tells them to smear cheese upon the walls, so they do. She tells them to douse the temple fires with their tongues, so they do. I fear someone will die if this continues. Bright moons shine upon you, Walker. This one pursued his friend, Zarga, before you arrived. The fool chases a beast's young with a butterfly net, and woe unto him when their mother follows the commotion. Please, find Zarga before he is eaten. I last saw him run after the beasts into the wilderness to the west. I hoped he would not follow them into their den, but I would be a fool to believe that now. Since she was very young, her eyes have always been as bright as Joan and Jod. She has never led us astray. It's why she's Moon Bishop. But all this madness, something is not right. She foresaw the return of the dragons with a frightening clarity. I went to warn Lord Garesh Ri on this dire prophecy, so it might reach the main's ears. But I arrived too late. The dragons had already come.
smashed out as flat as a flapjack. But who said you can play with my toys? Well, hello, my new playmate. Glad to find someone with their wits still about them. Too many crazies around here. I mean, what self-respecting person goes around chasing butterflies with a net? Everybody knows you use a hammer. I'm a cat. I thought that bit was obvious. Unless I'm not a cat. Meow? Meow. Nope, cat. Maybe you're not as sharp as I thought. A tack that's seen one too many backsides, eh? <laughs> Bad for you. Worse for them. <laughs> the priest, silly. You really are clueless, aren't you, plaything? How are you going to win the game if you can't even find the pieces? Am I going to have to dangle every answer in front of you like cheese-stuffed mice hanging by their entrails? Ah, that's more like it. Maybe there's hope for you after all. Now hurry your heroic hiney to my playground, or it's going to be the blind leading the blind out there. Ha <laughs> Toodles! Keep your eye on the prize. No, stop this madness. Why can't you see reason? Seeing is the problem, Adoras. That's why we need it. Maybe we don't need it. This one's claws are sharp. Pop, pop, and we're all saved. No, it uh, must... Ah, Jarl, you are safe. I hope the same may be said about Sarka. Moons, I pray he does not get any other ideas. Adoras has his hands full as it is. He found these ones searching for a fork to put out their eyes. The Moon Bishop told them that if they blind themselves, they would remain hidden from the dragon's sight. <sighs> Not just any fork. A two-tined iron fork smelling ever so slightly of roast beef. Please, help me keep them from finding this smelly thing. This one smells meat wafting on the wind. It is not an odor he would call beefy, but he thinks it may be the trail they were following. Hadaras will keep his eyes on these ones, so they may keep their eyes. You did? What did he... Wait, why didn't you stop him? Dark moons. What sort of childish... This one must talk in circles with lunatics much longer. He too will go mad. Did you find any offending forks at the campground? <sighs> Kajit gets all goose pimply in the hackles just touching it. Adoras fears things are even worse than he imagined. His fork reeks of more than beef. It stinks of oblivion. The skooma cat. He must be responsible for our moon bishop's strange visions. How has he spread his madness to the monks? And you said you saw him, in the flesh? An Alphic? 
The Skuma Cat should not be able to cross the Lunar Lattice. If he walks among us, then Joan and Jod must truly be out of alignment. We must check on the temple. Please, you go ahead to the temple. Find our Moon Bishop. Keep her from spreading any more of this madness. Hadoras will meet you there, once he leads these ones to safety without them straying toward any other foolishness. Oh, my ear! I see you met Forky! Been talking about me again, hasn't it? Such a gossip, that one! But you can hear the option if you stick it in your ears. Give it a try! Doing what? The purring? I don't know. Just happens at the darndest times. Smelling a bowl of cream, laying eyes on a plump ball of yarn, licking me... Oh, wait. I feel a grooming coming on. Who's trying? Oh, sure, you've kept a handful all boring and breathing. But we've been having a right riot in the temple. You ever hear cats always land on their feet? Turns out, it's true. Of course, their feet wind up by their ears, but why split pairs, eh? <laughs> Stop! Stop! We're just getting to the best part! I think they're really getting the hang of it. Last one got one good bounce in before he spit like a ripe tomato. <laughs> oh, I think the Moon Bishop's giving it a go. Don't want to miss that! Best hurry! Are you missed the show! Yes, Zenza, show us the way. Walker, you arrive at the perfect moment. You will witness our salvation. Moon Bishop Sizenza said we must ascend with Kenarthi to escape the dragons. True cats will reach the sands behind the stars by stepping between the two moons. We have not found the path yet, but now our prophet will show us the way. Oh, have faith. Joan and Joan have shone like beacons for the Moon Bishop. She will lead us all to salvation, and you can join us, Walker. on your wings. Sizenza should see where to step. Her vision showed it true. But she cannot see it now. No, this one sees by the light of the two moons. These are not fevered sugar dreams. She saw the dragons. Sizenza tried to say, yes, I, I need to sit down, gather my thoughts. Oh, no, you don't. Get your paws off my favorite plaything! Hoo-hoo! Look at you! Running around like a chicken with its head cut off! Nothing beats a chicken without a noggin. Believe me, I've tried. You came awfully close to spoiling me fun, though. I like my fun. Why? So you can keep hogging all the toys? No, no, no. These are mine. I licked them. How much more marking do I have to do? Alone? Who wants to be alone, trapped in their own head until all the life and joy of the world leaks out and leaves an ugly grey corpse? The better off in my company, sure. Suppose I could let them go, if you'd rather be my plaything instead. Then I whisk you home to where the real fun is. Oh, I haven't hosted company since half past. <laughs> ah, you'll love what I've done with the place. It'll be like you never left. Have you there in two shakes of a grand mal fit. So, what do you say? Come on, plaything! The game's a face! 